In this video, I'm going to talk about soil erosion and conservation. The learning objectives of this chapter are formation of soil, uses of soil, soil erosion, soil conservation. Students, I go on reading the text and I explain and you just look into the text. You please listen to my voice and follow the text students. Students, I go on reading and explain. The most valuable resource on the earth is the soil. Soil not only contains metals and minerals in its layers, but also grows plants, the food producers, and thus also supports animals. It supports plants as well as animals. It gives us food through the growth of plants. 95% of our basic needs for food, shelter and clothing are fulfilled from land. Students, this is the first paragraph of the chapter. Uh, I would like to explain about the words and the sentences given in this paragraph. Students, the soil is the most valuable resource on the earth. How is it valuable resource, students? Do you think the soil is living thing? No, soil is a non-living thing. It's a big, abundantly available resource on the earth and it's valuable. Why do we say it's a valuable resource? It's a valuable resource because it supports the life of plants. Students, it supports what? Life of the plants. Plants depend upon soil. Of course, other living things like animals depend upon plants. We are not directly depending upon soil, of course, but we are depending upon plants and the plants are depending upon soil. So, like this we can say, the soil is very most valuable resource on the earth. Okay? Now, let's move forward. Life cannot be imagined in the absence of soil. Yes. Do you think the living things can be alive on the earth without soil? No. Let's move forward. The development of human activities is the major threat to damage the soil resources. The factors responsible for damaging the soil are human activities indiscriminate cutting of trees and overgrazing. It can be checked through conservation processes like planting more trees, changing pattern of farming, embankment and planting hedges. Students in this paragraph, what he wants to make us understand is the development of human activities is the major threat to damage the soil resource. Development of human activities in the sense the human beings are developing by following different activities like building factories and increasing transportation by the vehicles and releasing the dangerous gases into the air. We have already spoken in the previous class students uh, the exhausts of the vehicles you know uh, the, the exhausts of the vehicles in the sense, the smoke released from the vehicles and if you wanted to travel from your leaving place to long distance how do you travel you use a vehicle right and what is the fuel used in that vehicle petrol or diesel or some any other uh, fuel used that which gives smoke or exhaust smoke and in this exhaust smokes there will be a very dangerous chemical gases and that damage the environment. So, of course we are developing but at the same time we are damaging the earth, we are damaging the environment, we are damaging the soil. Okay? And the factors responsible for damaging soil are human activities like what? indiscriminate cutting of trees and overgrazing. It can be checked through conservation processes. How can it be checked? 
it can be checked through conservation processes like planting more trees and changing pattern of farming and embankment and planting hedges damaging of the soil can be stopped or checked let's move forward students formation of soil soil is formed by the weathering and breaking of rocks the wind water and living beings cause the rocks to break due to cooling heating and drying the rocks crack and break up into small pieces to form soil the process of soil formation is a slow long and continuous process the quality of soil is an asset of nation it adds wealth to the country the countries which are in deserts have to depend on other countries for food students let's get some explanation of this paragraph students soil is formed by what weathering weathering in the sense changes in the weather and breaking of rocks and due to the changes of weather you know what happens some rocks get broken and the wind water living beings cause the rocks to break as well you know the not only weather and but also wind water and these are all the components of weather of course living beings cause the rocks to break the rocks are broken by the living beings living on the earth okay students and due to cooling heating and drying the rocks crack and break up into small pieces to form soil got it students and due to the cooling and heating you know cooling and heating it's nothing but what temperature temperature is a component of weather got it and due to the changes in the weather what happens the rocks crack and break up into small pieces to form soil and the process of soil formation is a slow and long continuous process okay and the quality of the soil is an asset of the nation students the quality of soil is an asset of a nation how can we say the soil is an asset of nation the quality soil especially the quality of soil the quality soil is an asset of a nation because it adds wealth to the country how it adds wealth to the country wealth means nation's income okay and it adds wealth to the country you know the country should get some income out of soil right so the quality soil adds wealth to the country you know the countries which are in desert have to depend on other countries for food because in deserts there no crops can be grown in deserts in desert soil right so the desert soil is not a quality soil to grow the crops and to produce food for the human beings so the quality soil is an asset of a nation like this we can understand how it's an asset to the nation okay students now let us move forward uses of soil there are various uses of soil all living beings depend on soil because their basic needs are completed through the soil characters we get food clothes shelter medicines water the basic needs of life system from soil students if you see the uses of soil the various uses are given here a b c d e what are the uses i will read and explain but before that all living beings depend on soil because the basic needs are completed basic needs are fulfilled through the soil you know what soil the quality soil that means the soil that depends upon the character of the soil okay the nature of the soil we get food clothes shelter medicines water these are all the basic needs of human beings and the basic needs of life system from the soil are fulfilled by the quality soil forests which are on the soil bring rain and support various plant and animal activities large deposits of metals and minerals are present in the soil 
microorganisms present in soil make a fertile land help in maintaining the ecosystem soil is also used for making bricks pots and porcelain soil also stores water under the ground this water is used for drinking and other purposes students these are the uses of soil forests which grow on soil bring rain and support various plant and animal activities students you know forests which grow on soil bring rain you know how the forests bring rain that maintain the proper proportions of gases present in the air that you may not understand now you will understand in your higher classes but you just remember uh, the due to the forests only we are getting rain that you remember this point students and large deposits of metals and minerals are present in the soil and we are getting metals you know iron and other metals that are uh, there around us that we are using you know metals like iron the iron is uh, available as a raw core metal materials that and minerals also present in the soil and microorganisms present in the soil make the soil fertile students in different microorganisms present in the soil make the soil fertile fertile in the sense that soil is able to grow the plants and give food crops and also help in maintaining the ecosystem yeah microorganisms help in the maintaining ecosystem what is ecosystem ecosystem is the combination of living and non living things living in a particular place and they depend upon one another okay and the next point see the students soil is also used for making bricks pots and porcelain the different things that we make using soil students soil also store water under the ground you know water is stored in the layers of the soil this water is used for drinking and other purposes as well students next uh, let's move forward soil erosion what is soil erosion the process of carrying away of the top fertile layer of soil from one place to another by water or wind is called soil erosion students it's a process of carrying away the useful top soil in simple sentence students the top soil is very much useful for the growth of plants you know when it rains the water rain water streams on the surface of the soil and carries the useful top soil and if useful top soil is carried away from one place to another the place where the top soil is carried away is called eroded soil this process is called soil erosion and next let's move forward students agents of soil erosion what are the agents of soil erosion natural agents like water river and rain water cause soil erosion when it rains the top soil from the hills wastes down to the rivers and plains the running water deposits the mineral rich soil in river bed during floods the river get flooded and deposit the soil on another place of land wind in nature strong winds blow the top soil from one place to another thus causing soil erosion this happens more often when land is not covered with grass or plants students did you understand this matter what are the natural agents of soil erosion water and wind how water makes the soil erosion and how wind makes the soil erosion water makes the soil erosion is due to the heavy rains from hill areas to down to the rivers and plains okay thus the water makes the soil erosion and also wind 
in nature strong winds blow the top soil from one place to another how you know students the winds the strong winds carries the dust you know the top soil from one place to another that also causes soil erosion and moreover the top soil is very much useful if it is carried away from one place to another the plants that which are being grown in that particular place will not grow properly now what are man made activities of soil erosion deforestation it is the cutting down of trees in large numbers man has cleared large areas of forests for his requirement of wood living place etc this results in soil erosion students it is the cutting what is deforestation it is the cutting down of trees in large number students why do we cut the trees our requirements like wood living place for all these purposes we cut down the trees right when we cut down the trees ultimately the soil gets eroded okay and the roots and the stems that are there in the particular place will strongly hold the top soil if we go on cutting the trees the topmost soil is flooded away from that particular place and will cause soil erosion in that particular place okay students next overgrazing by cattle what is cattle like the domestic animals we grow for agriculture purpose right goat sheep buffalo etc you know so these are the animals nothing but cattle overgrazing in the sense they eat more and more grass in the fields and as the grass is eaten by the cattle in that particular place uh, the topmost soil in the place where that more grass is the topmost soil is carried away when it rains the topmost soil is carried away where the grass is not there properly okay where the grass is not there where the enough grass is not there on the fields where the enough grass is not there in the fields students okay man leaves in i go and explain here uh, overgrazing by cattle when man leaves the animals to graze on the same piece of land years after year the land becomes bare this results in soil erosion okay we should not make the overgrazing by the cattle next so man made activity let's move forward and plowing of hill sides what is plowing of hill sides students this loosens the soil and increases soil erosion in plains after harvesting the crop the soil lies bare the soil lies bare for some time which helps the wind to blow away the soil students hill sides lands or little slant it would little slopey yes and plowing in the sense who will plow it's a human activity or man's activity so due to this the top soil on hill sides is lost when it is loosened and increases soil erosion in plains after harvesting the crop you know the soil lies bare for some time which helps the wind to blow away the soil this is how we can cause soil erosion so soil erosion is by two ways you know two methods one is natural and another one is man's activities okay let's move forward soil conservation man is constantly damaging the soil 1000 tons of soil is carried away by wind or water due to the deforestation the desert land is spreading speedily the careful the careful protection of the soil or to check soil erosion is called soil conservation students did you understand this point what is soil conservation soil conservation is nothing but to protect the soil from erosion to protect the soil from damaging polluting okay soil also gets polluted right students 
soil how soil is polluted soil is polluted by by discharging uh, wastes into the soil like you know plastic and different other chemicals into the soil okay and to conserve the soil we have to adopt some methods to protect the soil okay we have to protect the soil the process of protecting the soil is called soil conservation there are some points given to understand what is soil conservation uh, how can we conserve the soil different methods are adopted to check the soil erosion check the soil erosion means to stop the soil erosion okay first point more trees should be grown at slope of mountains students mountains so they are high hills so they have some slopes right the slope area is grown by different plants you know more trees should be grown at slope of mountains next terrace farming should be done in the hilly areas in this method of farming the slope is cut into steps or terrace soil eroded from one step gets deposited on the next this reduces soil erosion students in slope areas you know terrace farming is done what is terrace what is terrace farming terrace farming in the sense in this method the farming of the slope is cut into steps or terrace you know students soil eroded from one step gets deposited on the next step this reduces soil erosion okay students and what next how can we conserve the soil erosion afforestation what is afforestation trees should be planted in large numbers afforestation is nothing but what it's a process of growing plants in large numbers trees slow down the wind and prevent it from blowing away the soil okay next planting grasses on the hill sides also help to stop water from carrying away the soil let's move forward and growing suitable crops the farm land remains bare when crops are harvested when crops are harvested after harvesting the you know farm land remains bare remains bare in the sense we don't grow any crop in the particular land area in that particular field okay and we leave it for some days and growing suitable crops in the sense you know after uh, leaving it for few months we have to choose a suitable crop by predicting the weather conditions in the particular region and we have to grow the crops in the particular region farmers can grow seasonal vegetables and pulses as cover crops to protect the soil until the next crop is planted these seasonal plants also increase the fertility of the soil by adding nutrients to it overgrazing by the cattle should be prevented strong embankment along river banks reduce soil erosion proper use of fertilizers reduces the infertility of soil students these are the methods followed to conserve the soil students soil conservation is a process of protecting the soil we can protect the loss of useful soil by following these methods given here okay this is the chapter that we have completed just now and students there are some keywords given i go on reading this and explain deforestation cutting down trees in large number soil erosion carrying away of the top fertile layer of soil soil conservation protection of soil from erosion terrace farming farming is done in the steps on hill slopes afforestation planting trees in large numbers students uh, this is the chapter about soil and 
conservation soil erosion and conservation now uh, let me give you some exercise there are some choose the correct answers questions let me read and explain the weathering of rocks results the formation of soil the carrying away of tough fertile soil is called carrying away you remember students carrying away means that is moved from that is carried away from one place to another so the one place where the uh, fertile soil is there and that is lost the useful soil is lost in that particular place so what is happening there erosion is happening so what will be the answer for this question soil erosion which of the following is a natural cause of soil erosion wind running water heavy rain all of these yes all of these uh, you know are the natural cause of soil erosion next question fourth question soil can be conserved by terrace farming deforestation overgrazing plowing hill sides students plowing hill sides deforestation and overgrazing they cause soil erosion right but how can we conserve the soil how can we conserve soil can be conserved by terrace farming next fifth question cover crops are grown to reduce soil erosion increase soil fertility raise the income of the farmers all of these yes cover cropping is you know cover croppings are grown to all of these reduce soil erosion and increase soil fertility income of the farmers and also all of these these seasonal plants also increase the fertility of the soil by adding nutrients to the soil okay next so all of this is the answer for fifth question sixth question cutting down trees in large number is called cutting down trees in large number is called what cutting down we are cutting down means deforestation terrace farming is a good measure to reduce soil erosion in hill regions hilly regions or uh, terai regions or desert regions or flood prone regions hilly regions so we have to make steps on hilly regions you know making steps and making uh, the eroded soil from one step is deposited in another step like this you know we can conserve the soil terrace farming is good measure to reduce soil erosion in hilly region hilly regions is the answer for the seventh question next give short answers what is the main medium of growing plants on the earth soil is the main medium next question name the process due to which rocks are broken by the action of sun rain or wind what do we call this weathering this is called as weathering formation of soil next what are the natural agents of soil erosion water and wind obviously we have studied about that water and wind and in which areas the terrace farming is a good measure to reduce soil erosion hilly regions next how do forests help in soil conservation how do forests help in soil conservation forests you know students the land area where the plants forest plants are grown that land area is you know protected from erosion protected from erosion you know students when it happens floods the top useful soil is not lost you know that the roots or stems of the forest trees are you know helping the soil not to lose the topmost soil okay this is how the forest help in soil conservation okay students and uh, next answer the following questions how is soil formed how is soil formed 
I have explained earlier in the explanation students formation of soil you know soil is formed by the weathering and breaking of soil soil is formed by the weathering and breaking of rocks students the wind water and living beings cause the rocks to break due to cooling and heating and drying the rocks crack and break up into small pieces to form soil the process of soil formation is a slow and long continuous process next student second question what is soil erosion and what are its agents soil erosion in the sense loss of useful top soil how is it happen due to two agents natural and man activities natural agents and man's activities what are natural agents water and wind and what are man's activities deforestation next overgrazing by cattle plowing of hill sides so these are the human activities or man's activities which cause soil erosion now third question in what ways is man responsible for increasing the soil erosion human activities are the responsible for increasing the soil erosion what are they deforestation what overgrazing of cattle plowing of hill sides okay and now fourth question what is terrace forming how does it prevent soil erosion what is terrace forming students terrace forming is done in hill areas in this method of forming the slope the slope of the hill area is cut into steps okay the slope of the hill area is cut into steps or terrace soil eroded from the one step gets deposited on the next step so this is called uh, terrace forming what is terrace forming and how does it prevent soil erosion you know it it's a process of conservation of the soil you no know, terrace forming is also one of the processes that follow to conserve the soil next fifth question list four measures to conserve the soil more trees should be grown and next terrace gardening or terrace forming a forestation growing suitable crops and these are the four methods uh, that should be followed by human beings conserve the soil next write true or false just go on reading and you just try to understand which one is true and which one is false one and next long ago the earth was covered with rocks yes true soil provides us with food clothes and minerals true afforestation increase soil erosion no afforestation decreases soil erosion not increases next soil erosion makes the soil infertile soil erosion makes the soil infertile yes soil erosion makes the soil infertile true soil erosion makes the soil infertile it's true yes fifth one water and air cause both soil erosion and soil formation yes it's also true next let's move forward fill in the blanks soil is formed by the weathering of rocks water and wind are natural agents of soil erosion dash prevents soil from being eroded afforestation prevents afforestation prevents soil from being eroded strong embankments are built along rivers river banks strong embankments are built along river banks if strong embankments are not built what happens the the embankment will uh, you know weaken and then the river water will uh, flow out of the bank and then cause soil erosion fifth question the the seasonal plants grow as cover crops increase the fertility of soil okay 
the seasonal plants grow as cover crops increase the soil fertility a fertility of soil okay next so write the scientific terms of the following what are the scientific terms carrying away of soil by wind or water is called soil erosion cutting down of cutting down trees in large numbers deforestation protecting soil from erosion protecting soil from erosion what conservation soil conservation structures along river banks to prevent soil erosion by flooding embankment the answer for this fourth one is embankment planting trees in large numbers afforestation next seventh bit match the following uh, column a with column b weathering of rocks formation of soil water and winds natural agents of soil erosion terrace forming prevents the soil erosion in hill areas deforestation cutting down of trees in large number pulses and musk melons cover crops okay the second chapter soil erosion and conservation is completed successfully students i hope you all understood this chapter and you can write the notes in your notebooks what you have learned out of this video class and if you don't understand this chapter you listen this video as many times as you can and you get understanding of this chapter students i hope you all do that and thank you for listening and thank you one and all